everyone! Welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today is Sunday and I just wanted to come on and do kind of, I haven't done a sewing video in a little bit and I kind of just wanted to show some stuff because I love sewing and it is a big hobby and a huge part of my life. And so I belong to, um, different quilt clubs and you know like the mail order kind of things the little kit clubs and I belong and I went to the um the quilt show here in Arizona here in Maricopa County and it was big and I love it and I didn't get to go last year so I we did get to go this year and I was super excited so I want to share with you the things I got at the quilt show and you've already seen one thing that I got at the quilt show so the one thing that you did see that I got at the quilt show, if you watched uh, the Spam collab, was the Spam fabric. I still haven't done anything with it. I haven't had the time. I'm in the middle of uh, Christmas gifts uh, for the kids. So anyway, here is my Spam fabric. Super stinking cute. I'm eventually going to probably make an apron out of this. And yes, I would love to have enough left over to make oven mitts to go with it. <laughs> because it's so cute. And then I got this pattern. So cute. So this little bird can hold scissors, a thimble, it even has a pin cushion on its head. It's so cute in a spam can. And I actually saved a spam cam from my spam collab so I can make this. <laughs> So eventually that's what I'm going to do. And on the back, there's one for the hatch pepper can. So stinking cute. I can't wait to do this. I don't know when I'll have the time between making videos. I'm writing a, I've got a project for you guys and that'll be coming out very soon. And so between those other things and the collabs and all that stuff, I've been really busy and uh, trying to get um, some homemade Christmas gifts done for the kids as well. And then I got a pattern book. I got the Bonnie and Camille quilt bee book. I love this. It is so cute. I have wanted it. There's a couple more pattern books that I really um, would like to have too. So um, full of full of patterns. I love this book. Um, a pattern for everything on here, every square on here. The Bonnie and Camille collection through Moda it happens to be one of my very favorites. I love their stuff. Um, so Bonnie and Camille through Moda. And also I really love Lori Holt through Riley Blake. Her patterns and her fabrics, I love them. Um, so anyway, happy to have this book. A couple other yardage that I got, super cute. You're all probably going to love this. Oh my goodness. So cute, like little canning jars full of buttons and little tomatoes that have the, that are pin cushions and little baskets of sewing stuff. I thought that was so cute. I can't wait to make something with that. I have no idea what I'm going to make. You know, I just buy it when I see it and stow it for when I want it. Um, here is some canned good fabrics. Also super cute. I have some more like that canning jar fabric. Um, and then some gardening fabric. So vegetables, there's some fruits on here. So cute. And then I did get jelly rolls. I ended up with three jelly rolls. This is called Canning Day by Cory Yoder for Moda Fabrics. So cute. The print on here. I love it. There is some really beautiful fabrics in here. I don't know what I'm going to use this jelly roll for yet, but at some point I will figure it out. Super cute. This is All Hallows Eve and it is, it is a Moda fabric by Fig Tree. So cute. So it's All Hallows Eve and basically it's just lighter colors and it is actually I don't believe there's any Halloween print in here it is actually just flowers but in the Halloween the lighter Halloween colors if you've 
um, follow any of the fig tree quilt patterns. I love fig tree also. The, such beautiful stuff. But theirs is, is more of a lighter collection. I absolutely love it. So kind of like the peachy and the gray and the beige and the black. Anyway, so I kind of want to make a table runner with this. I don't know if I'm going to get it done this year. I am running out of time. So I'm seriously just kind of focused on the holidays right now. Okay, I had to put my glasses on. I can't read this one. This one is another jelly roll, and it is a retro jelly roll. And it is by Dan DiPaolo um, for Clothworks. This one is so cute. It is definitely retro. I love it. There's so many cute retro prints in here. So I would love to make a table runner with this too. <laughs> but I will figure out something cool to make with it at some point. Little, little pumpkin fabrics. Oh, so cute. Anyway, love it. And then I ended up with three panels. So this one, so cute. It's a little Halloween uh, panel, and it's kind of like a retro-y little garden witch. Hopefully you can see it. And then, I know you can't see the bottom. Here is the bottom. So cute. It says Spellcaster's Garden. Cute little retro-y Halloween fabric. I'm kind of into this little retro Halloween stuff lately. And then I got this Halloween fabric, another retro. Um, this one I believe matches the um, jelly roll that I got. So you know what, I probably will end up making a quilt, a Halloween quilt at some point with this jelly roll and this panel. So super cute retro. Here is the bottom part. It's so cute. Oh gosh. And then I got one last panel here. I haven't even opened this one. Um, I saw it hanging up and I thought I have to have that one. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with this one either. But this one, I loved all the fabric that went with it too. So I may go back and purchase some of that. Um, but this one is a rooster panel. I'm totally in love with this. So I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but something cool. <laughs> and I don't know when, because uh, time is limited. Okay, so I think that is everything. Actually, it is not. I also picked up grip dots. If you've got creative grid rulers, creative grid rulers have the non-slip grip stuff built right into them. I love creative grid rulers. But before I knew that, and this one's getting old, I bought OmniGrids. So I have OmniGrid and... This one is old, it's Fiskars. This is probably the, the first one I ever got years ago. And as you can see, uh, everything's fading off of it. Um, but I, this is my longest one and I still use it as a cutting guide. So what I did was take the little grippies and I put them on the bottom sides of these. So if you do have regular rulers and you don't have the creative grids or the omni grids, you can totally put these right on them and they won't slip um, off of your fabric. So. I was happy to have found those. They had some cool stuff at the quilt at the quilt fair, um, quilt show. They always do. They had another system that I really debated on getting, and it had like a whole handle with it. Um, and I thought, well, that's a great idea. But and you could clip several together, <laughs> and I thought that's cool. So maybe someday. In the meantime, these grip dots work excellent, and I think they were they were five ninety nine for a pack. Um, so totally worth it. I also got the seam guide setter. You ever try to sew a scant quarter inch? Exactly. I got one of these and then 
as I got this, my Lori Holt um, seam guide came in the mail. I was waiting for it. So I have both now. The Lori Holt seam guide. It's like in a flower shape. It's cute. Next time I do a sewing video, you'll see it. But I also have this one too. And when I um, taped down the Lori Holt seam guide, I actually used this uh, little guide. This hooks right around your needle so that you can get it correctly positioned. So another cool thing to have. But otherwise, you get it positioned and these are stickers and they stick right onto your sewing machine so it guides your fabric. I also found these two cute little patterns. that I just couldn't live without. <laughs> I collect patterns. I have so many patterns like this. And I don't, these are, are I believe, like little wool patterns. I take those and I just use regular fabric for them too. Someday I'd like to get into the wool. That's a whole nother expense, let me tell you. But for now, I just use the patterns and I put things on dish towels. I put them on shirts. I put them on pillows. I put them on anything you can think of. Um, applique is one of my favorite things to do. It is my first love with sewing. So before I learned to quilt, I learned to applique first. I also got this. Everybody needs one of these, let me tell you. Cause guess what? If you spill your pins, accidentally while filling another pin dish. Oh yeah, that is nice to have and nice to pick up your pins. And it's cost me two dollars. I'm pretty sure it's some of the smartest two dollars I have ever, ever spent. I also got these. These are nice because they are um, like grippy little pockets, they're rubber. So you can put your needles in there um, and they stay, or needles, <laughs> scissors in there and they stay protected. Um, I've got some pens, I've got all sorts of stuff in here. But anything that I use a lot, I now have in here so I can just grab them off of the side here. They also offer a shorter version of this and different colors. I got red and the blue, but um, I can't remember what other colors they have. I think they have pink and purple. So great idea. These are by these are called stash and stores. And I spent $9.99 on each of these. Okay, I think that's all my loot from the quilt show. It was a few weeks ago and I was trying to remember everything that I got. I think I might have grabbed a couple fabric pens, but you know, you don't need to see those. Those um heat erasable fabric pens or friction friction erasable fabric pens. I did get a couple of those. Um, next thing brings me to the next thing that I want to talk to you about because I love sewing and some of the clubs that I belong to are like online subscriptions. I don't work for them. I'm not making any money off of this. I don't have a coupon code for you. Um, I, this is just something that I personally love and something that, that I belong to because I like it. The first one is Annie's, Annie's Kit Clubs. If you've ever heard of them, I think Annie's Kit Clubs is one of the originals and that company has been around for a long time. The way they do it now, it is $23.99 a month. They charge your card monthly for this and they ship it out. And it comes with only a fabric stash. And this is classic, what is it? This is just their, their fabric kit club. So it's like a stash, a stash builder. So it will come with coordinating fabrics. Um, this is the one that I got last month. And you'll get this in the mail and then you have an account online to sign in and you can print off your um, pattern that goes with it. So this one is called Summer's End. This is from August. And it'll give you the whole um, pattern for this and then it gives you the picture in the end. So this is for a table runner. And FYI, you don't have to use these patterns for this set. You can use it for whatever you want. I probably will never make that table runner. I will probably find a better use for this fabric. Um, one only needs so many table runners, uh, but you could definitely do the table runner. This is really cool because it's kind of like 
mauves and gold and you know what it reminds me of my grandma's house and all this stuff is totally coming back in all this retro fabric I'm absolutely in love with it uh, I swear my grandma had carpeting that looked like this <laughs> anyway so this stash came with this flowered so pretty this is acorns or no leaves this one's little leaves and this is almost like a purple color a cross between purple and mauve this is just kind of like a cross between a tan and a pink and then brown for the design this is the acorn fabric it's so cute and then more leaf fabric sorry it's really hard to show you this and I'm not used to it and then the striped super cute so this is again Annie's kit club I will put the link for that in the description box below um, I also pulled one more out this is the one I got I believe in July and um, July it was called it's either July or September did I get the one for this it's October this is September <laughs> it's called the blues so this came with a it comes with a pattern and this pattern is actually for uh, reverse log cabin so that's kind of cool you could make a table runner you could do anything else you wanted to do with it um, but the pattern is there and I still have the piece of um, the little Moda this is by Moda uh, Moda fabrics I love this so it's got the blues let me stand to the side it might be a little bit easier for me um, blue striped this one is kind of a dark blue with a, a tan. Almost like a faded jean blue. This one has a little pattern on it. And then the whites on the other side, they're actually a little bit more off white. And then one with music notes. Super cute selection. So Annie's Kit Club. Uh, and that, like I said, I believe that is stash builder or classic that I'll name it. I will put it in the description box below what it's called because I, for some reason right now, can't remember. Now I've belonged to this club for about a year. I'm building up quite the little stash and I've used some of it for a Christmas project. I can't show you because if, and if my um, kids watch this video, then, then they'll see it. So, um, I will... Maybe I'll do a sewing tutorials for the Christmas gifts, each one of them that I do, and then I'll release them after Christmas. Um, that way you can see them and decide next year maybe. <laughs> the, other, the other club I started from Annie's is the Holiday Kit Club. It's so cute. The Holiday Kit Club is a little bit more expensive. It's $39.99 a month, and um, they ship you a, a kit every month. So this is actually for, this is August. In August is the pot holders. So it comes with all the fabrics to make these pot holders. Um, so super cute and it comes with a little book. It comes with the instructions, but all the fabric is there. The flip flop fabric is on the back. It's so cute. <laughs> anyway um, a lot of it's just kind of basic just the flip-flop pattern or the flip-flop fabric is um, patterned there and then the other one is a Christmas tree runner so pretty I can't wait to make this and then it comes with all the fabric for the Christmas tree runner and then the little booklet with the directions inside the pattern super cute I will also link this in the description description box below if you're interested um, again I am not in any way associated this is not a paid promotion I'm not selling it I don't make any money off of it this is just what I like to do and I'm sharing with you how, where I get a lot of my things and how I build my stash
this last one is my favorite. It's I just started this club and I want to tell you um, I did run into some snags in the beginning. I joined in July, the very beginning of July. And when I joined, I um, they took the money out right away. I paid for it. Somehow um, everything, they, they were struggling. Um, their power went down or got knocked out for a week or something. Um, it affected their they couldn't use their computers. They didn't have internet when they did come back to work. Um, all kinds of things happened for these poor people, this, this company. Uh, I believe they are in, they're in Washington or Oregon. And so when, when it did come back on, I didn't get my shipment and I, 30 days had gone by. So I contacted them. They did uh, finally get back to me and shipped my stuff right away. Apparently, when my order came through, my tag, my shipping tag didn't print out or something. I don't know what happened, but my second one came without any hitch at all. So that being said, it was worth the wait. I am so happy that I got it and so happy that I joined this club. So this one is called the Pre-Cuts Quilt Classic Box. It is a monthly subscription. Now this is the one I just got in the mail today. I'm going to unbox this one with you, but first I'm going to show you the one I got last month. The one I got last month, the one that I did have to wait for, but it was for the month of August, is right here. So cute. So it came in this cute little bag, which I love, and I'll find a use for this, probably gift giving. Um, the only thing is, is <laughs> one of the things it came with is this cute little sewing box. So cute. And then here's the back side. So it, it did get kind of um, dinged up a, a tiny bit in the mail, um, but just in that corner. And it was kind of bent a little bit here, but I pushed it back out. So mine is uh, salvageable. It's not a tight closure, but it's so cute. They all come with this little pamphlet and let me get my glasses because I can't see. I can't see. Sorry, I keep wandering all around my little room here. Um, so it, every one of them comes with this one. So this one you open up the pre-cuts quilt box. This is, and it again, it's pre-cuts classic. Um, it tells you that this one is uh, the poppy cotton fabrics that are here, that are with this collection. So it tells you about um, poppy cotton fabrics, Lori Woods and Gina Barney. Um, so it goes through the, a little um, story about them. And this one is, they give you always a little um, information in the beginning. So this one has um, quilt sizes. And it goes through um, comforter size, bedspread for king, queen, full, twin crib, which is kind of a nice thing to have. So these are things that you're going to want to hold on to. Um, then it shows you... The collection is called Farm Girls Unite. It is amazing. This is an amazing collection. So it tells you a little bit about that. Um, it gives you the pattern and it gives you the panel that comes with it. And it tells you, oh, before I get to that, um, it tells you about the box. The box I just showed you is valued at $12. And then it came with a, it comes with, an, a friction, with a friction erasable marker, fabric marker. And this one is valued at $2. But this one is nice because it's a very fine point, which I can appreciate. Not all of mine are this fine. So Farm Girls Unite, here is the panel. It's so cute. So here is the panel for the Farm Girls Unite. I try to back up a little bit. You can see all the, the patterns right around it. It looks like quilt patterns. It is so cute. And then here's the other half. So I absolutely love it. Here's a good uh, close up of the, the picture in the middle.
So this is the panel and they value this panel at $17. Let me look. $17.32 value for that panel. It comes with the coordinating fabric and this is one layer cake of the poppy cotton fabric for Farm Girls Unite. And and this is valued at $58. So this alone, um, you're paying $55 for your box plus tax, no shipping. Um, so that alone is worth the box. This is a big stash, a layer cake. So you can see the fabric is so flowery. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, I don't know if we'll go through all of them, but you can see all the little farm girl style. So cute. I love everything about this. It's hard for me to... Oh, here, I love this. Strawberries and strawberries and pink and white gingham. But it's all kind of, um, you know, like <laughs> flowery and fruity and it's so cute. I love everything in here. Anyway. Um, you can look online at um, this collection of poppy cotton fabric and then you can get a better view. The whole box is ended up, the whole box value is $110. That's the value I paid $55 plus tax. So anyway, I am super, super happy. And again, this is like my very favorite subscription. And then this is the one I just got in the mail today, which kind of uh, triggered me into, hey, maybe I should do a video on, on all the stuff that I've been um, doing in the clubs that I belong to because you may be interested as well. And I will link the uh, Precuts Quilt Classic box in the description box below as well if you are also interested. Again, not sponsored. This one came in the box versus a bag and it looks like this. So neatly wrapped. Oh yes, so cute. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you too. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. On the other box, here's the pattern, Farm Girls Unite. And this is the Riveters Girls Quilt Pattern. So pattern is uh, valued at $12. So the whole pattern is there too. Um, this box. Um, it comes with, I'm totally going to make this one too. Oh my gosh. I'm never going to have time to make any more uh, cooking videos. Sorry guys. <laughs> so this one is, oh, I'm super, super in love with it. It is, the fabric is Stitch by Lori Holt. So it gives you a little information about Lori Holt. And down here, it also gives you some, actually down here, this is about Lori Holt. Down here, it gives you some information about Fat Quarter. And the jelly roll that I got with this collection is valued at $47. And this is the Stitch Collection by Lori Holt. Um, so it is flowery and kind of old fashioned. I absolutely love it because flowers are, flowered fabrics are coming back. I love everything about this. Um, so you can get a better view at all the fabrics that are in the Stitch Collection. If you go to um, like Fat Quarter Shop, I most of my online shopping I do through Fat Quarter Shop um, or Green Fairy Quilts. I love both of those. So when I order fabric, that's where I order it from. Um, in Fat Quarter Shop, if you look it up, it'll give you a good view of absolutely everything in this collection. Again, it is Stitch, um, done by Lori Holt for Riley Blake. 
and again valued at $47 um, pattern of course is valued at $12 and the pattern is called rolling spools how stinking cute is this it is literally thread spools I love it I am totally making this quilt probably before I do any other kit this one <laughs> I'm loving it. And then it comes with fabric for the binding. I will have to get some um, background fabric for it. Um, I'll have to get some backing fabric myself, but it comes with the binding fabric. Super cute. And this is one yard of binding fabric and it is valued at $13. And this is also from the same, the same stitch collection. And I believe this is also in the roll itself. And then it comes with some bobbin organizers. I love getting notions. Notions are like fun little gifts. So I love getting notions in a box. Um, Annie's Quilt Club does not... Um, do notions in their box. This one does. I love it. It's so fun. So bobbin organizer eight pieces valued at six dollars These can clip right around your bobbins. Make sure that you um, Your thread doesn't come off So these are a great idea if you don't have a bobbin organizer I have a bobbin organizer, but it doesn't fit all of my bobbins You know once you start sewing a lot and changing thread colors you end up with lots and lots of bobbins Especially ones that you use the most like black and white that sit there most of the time, mm-hmm, right next to my sewing machine. There you go. <laughs> and then um, a silk finish thread. This one is Mettler. And it is, let's see, silk finish, 50 weight solid cotton thread. And this is for all-purpose sewing. Um, Mettler is a good brand. Brand of um, brands. <laughs> of thread that I like. Um, I like Mettler. I like um, Sulky and uh, Guterman. Those are what I use most of the time. And then in here it also, I forgot to tell you this, in all of these it comes with a block of the month. This is block number eight. The one before this from last month was block seven. Now, I don't have the rest of the blocks because I just joined. So I don't have the rest of those block patterns. Can I get them? I don't know. But I, I could probably call and find out. Oh, this also comes with coupons on the back, so you can use coupons to order from their website. Definitely worth it. Anyway, folks, those are my fabulous sewing finds <laughs> for the summer, basically. Um, again, I will put the links in the description box below. If you have any questions, let me know. And I just wanted to share with you my cool finds. Anyway, and when I get my next Pre-Cuts Classic quilt box, I will um, do the unwrapping with you for those. Because um, those are big, nice boxes and, and come with a lot of stuff. So, by the way, folks, here is my... <laughs> you're never going to be able to see this whole thing. In another video, I'll have to show this to you better. But here is my quilt. I still need to put the edge on. Ooh, again, I haven't had any time. <laughs> so, I still need to put the edging on. Um, and I need to find a backing. The backing that I found and bought, I decided I don't like, so I need to get a new one. So this probably will not be done this year in time for fall because I don't have the time to finish it. Um, but I did put the whole thing together and I just have to put on um, some border. But here it is. It turned out so cute. Um, again, when I when I, let me pull this, it's big. It's, it's uh, almost 90 by 90 right now. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. And then here's the center star. So I gotta put the borders on. Um, borders, where do I have it? I am gonna go with this border. And this is the last border that comes with the pattern. So I have these squares cut out and then I'm gonna use this for a border. And then I'm going to add, I'm going to make it bigger. 
So I've decided if this is going on my, I have a king size bed, I want to make sure that I have good overhang. So I'm going to add extra borders onto it. And I have decided I, I want to go with a navy blue. I know it's a fall one, but um, I have so much navy blue in here in red and I'm kind of just going to go with that. So I'm going to do a navy blue border and then I have to figure out what I'm going to do for my backing fabric because I still have no idea. So um, when I get this completely done, that's the next time you'll see it. <laughs> but just know the majority of it is done. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.